It's a 10-day event, and it starts out with this opening reception here at Windmore Beach, and then we'll move tomorrow night to the opening of the wet room in Apalachicola, and it'll continue. They'll be painting and demonstrations all throughout the community from Mexico Beach on the pier and wine tasting at Prickly Pears, and then we'll go and progress through, and there'll be events in St. Joe, and then there'll be demonstrations out on St. George Island where they've rebuilt the lighthouse. I'm Sadler, I'm from Orlando, and I've painted for many years. I teach art as well, but uh, I have loved come, coming to Florida ever since I lived in Huntsville, Alabama. I would come down and see palms and palmettos, and it represented a sort of new, interesting, adventurous place. So now when I see boats and palms and palmettos, they still have that sort of uh, taking me away to another world sort of feel about, about them. So I still love to paint them to this day. I grew, I was born and raised here, and this, and there's still the scenery here that was there many years ago when I used to wander these beaches oh, yeah. and the palm trees, the palm meadows, the little inlets that come through, yeah. the boats, some of them that have been there for years and years. Right. And you captured that in this particular picture. I had a teacher one time say that you can't just paint Florida with blue and green. You've got to use right. this, the this warm is... because of the heat. It's hot out here today. Mm -hmm. That's part of the appeal. It's just this tropical. It is. It's the beautiful warm colors, and that definitely shows in this painting. you paint in your big shapes and you carve back in with the verticals and horizontals and and you got to squint down and sort of see things properly so that you don't get too um, too much into the detail. Most of them are between an hour and a half and two and a half hours. That's what makes plein air so special is that it, it really takes an advanced artist and they have to place the paint so perfectly because there's such a short window of time to make it be a perfect painting.